found the nine train <laughs> training programs online. That's, that's the ones that you're looking okay. for. I'll just read them <laughs> briefly and see what it says. Okay. That's Queen's video. <laughs> The joy of life of professional hockey. <laughs> this is what a, this is what a trainer I'm looks like when they read. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's not his fault he can't read. No. Luca, what's your favorite band and why? Of favorite all time. Of all time. Of all time would have to be The Doors. I just like Jim Morrison because he did whatever he wanted, said whatever he wanted, and it, back then it was rock and roll and all that was. There was a reason for it, you know, and they stood behind what they were singing for, and uh, it's a little different nowadays. Were you a fan of the film with uh, Val, Val Kilmer? Kilmer? Absolutely, seen it plenty. Read the books. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I got a couple t-shirts, and uh, I actually uh, had an opportunity to see them. Uh, I have an old friend uh, from the band Fuel, Brett Scallions, uh, was their lead singer. It was uh, him, uh, Ray Manzarek, and uh, Robbie Krieger went out and... Uh, they had, a, they had a drummer, another drummer too. Uh, Densmore wasn't in the, in the band, but we went and saw him in San Francisco at the Fillmore and got a chance to hang out with him after. So it was uh, it was a dream come true. It was really cool. It's cool. Well, let's see. Current favorite band. I don't have a lot. I get in trouble on it because I know a lot of, of bands that are out on the road right now. Um, you can hate all you want, but Nickelback just they're they're amazing. Three Days Grace. Full disclosure, though, you're friends with a lot of these bands yeah. you're naming. Let's be honest. Yeah, but I still love their music. That's how I met them. You know, I went to the concert first and you know, just had an opportunity to hang out afterwards because, you know, like everyone says, hockey players are fans of, of them and they're fans of us. So you get a chance to hang out with them after and you realize you, know, you like them even more. But uh, if you hate Nickelback, go to one of their shows. You won't hate them anymore. They're sick. Their shows are... Chad has a... Remember telling tell me about 10 years ago, he said, you know what, I want to be big enough so that I can put on a show that I would want to go to, and that's what they do. They go and they, they blow the roof off the place every night. Three days was uh, kind of, uh, I got lucky. <laughs> Still reading. <laughs> Still reading. <laughs> Three days, got, I was actually, I went to their show, and uh, they were leaving the next day. We go back to Toronto. They were, they were just come out. They had the hate song. My wife had heard it actually and told me that they were playing and I went out and saw them and they were, I didn't even know they were Canadian until I got to the show and found out they are big uh, hockey fans. Oh. That's them there. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> and uh, we went to, uh, we went to the show, we started hanging out and, uh, as, you know, we had a house in Dallas that kind of was a crossroads for a lot of bands. They'd come and play shows there and, and uh, while they were in town, instead of getting a hotel room, we just... We had a bunk room upstairs, and we'd tell them we'd park the buses in front. And they were kind of, they kind of lived with us for about two, three weeks during the lockout, and became really close. And we've just been friends ever since. Uh, well, it was during the lockout. We had a, we, we started a company called Lockout Records, uh, Lockout Productions. It was Clever. So we could do everything. Uh, we could put on shows, manage bands, uh, book shows, do whatever in in the industry. Uh, we went on a little bit of a headhunt and we found a band called Neverset. They were the biggest thing in Dallas. Uh, put on an amazing show. At the time we found them, there was nine guys in the band, so we had to you know, cut them down a little bit. So, uh, yeah. Uh, they had a, the mixing guy, they had two singers, three guitars, they lit stuff on fire. And these guys were a garage band at the time. And so we went to a show and uh, fell in love with the guys, managed them for the same thing. They wound up living with us a little bit, you know. and. And uh, they got to go on tour with bands like Seven Dust, Three Days Grace, Power Man 5000, Candlebox. I mean, they did a couple nationwide tours. So. Have you heard any of those bands? I heard of Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mention them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we, uh, no, they went out with a bunch of them and uh, they had a good time. It just uh, fizzled at the end. They had a bit of a uh, inner turmoil issue. and with a lot of bands that happens and when uh, when it does they broke up but now you know the singer's doing really well uh, he's the one guy that I've always stayed in contact with he's one of my best friends Sean uh, he works for Three Days Grace now and uh, and other bands Din Productions which is a is a production company uh, that does promotions throughout Texas hopefully we can get some of their shows in here uh, pretty soon what about that uh, tell them about that guitar that you have it was the which one? That Dimebag Daryl guitar. Oh, yeah. uh, you got the shirt on. Yeah. 
I got a couple dime bag guitars. Yeah, but the last one you ever played or yeah. something. Well, no, I, we were at uh, the house a little a little bit before. Uh, he's the last guy to play it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, we, they came over one night and uh, we had a little jam session in the in the band room. I got a pretty good band room in my house in Dallas, and they came over and broke a string on my guitar, and it's never been fixed. But I got people that come over all the time and just yank on it. I'm like, ah! Like, well, dude, it's broken guitar string. Like, yeah, uh, not anybody just broke that guitar. So it was his guitar. But I wouldn't touch it. Yeah, no, it's still sitting there. Yeah, I play drums the most, not right now, which is absolutely brutal. I tried to set it up the other day, and I, I fell all over the place. <laughs> but no, I got a couple of years ago, I got really lucky, and uh, Morgan Rose from Seven Dust. Uh, Sent me a, a, his uh, his kit, and I got that set up upstairs and mic with the big PA. So basically, everyone within a couple houses can can hear me play. And uh, you know, I got a bass rig. I got a couple of guitars, a couple guitar half stacks, uh, a bunch of mics. So if anyone likes to jam, let me know. I like the PRS or the Les Paul. They're, they're pretty nice. Deej, are you yeah. going to read something? Yeah, I found out the program that you need, <laughs> and it looks like there is a strength program. So that's to increase sheer muscle strength better than conventional weightlifting alone wow. with less risk of muscle tendon injury. Look so if that. you uh, hook that up at home. And we're all bored now. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Yes, but I found it.